Want to step up your mixology this year? We've got some advice. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five cocktails you need to try in 2018. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at both drinks that are trending right now, as well as old classics that are seeing a resurgence in popularity that you should absolutely try for yourself. The recommended dosage of two of these maximum, because around number three, it's where'd my pants go and who the hell are you? Number five, Old Fashioned. Can I get an Old Fashioned? If you're looking for a drink that always looks cool to order at a bar and will definitely impress your guests if you can whip one up, an Old Fashioned will serve you well every time. And the secret is, when it comes right down to it, it's really easy. The one ingredient you'll need that you may not already have stocked in your bar is bitters, which are what really elevate this drink. Traditionally, Old Fashions are made with whiskey, but you can experiment with liquors like brandy as well. Then add some sweetness and citrus, and you've got yourself a classic and classy cocktail to serve. I choose to put two kinds of garnishes in there, um, a lemon twist and an orange twist, uh, just to finish it off um, and bring the cocktail to life. Number four, Pink Lady. Pink wine makes me slutty. If you want to try out something unabashedly feminine, but not something so common as a vodka crayon, a Pink Lady is a great option. This rosy-hued drink first became popular in the 1950s, and it's not actually as sweet as it looks. The most classic version is made with gin, though other types of alcohol can be substituted if you want to literally mix it up a little. Now before we add ice to this drink, we want to dry shake it. Basically, that just simply means that uh, we don't add ice when we shake it, so that we can create frothiness. Grenadine or pomegranate syrup is the essential piece of the puzzle that gives the drink its signature color. And to create the creamy texture, you use whipped egg white and actual cream if you like. Shake it up and you've got yourself a perfect pick for girls' night. This is delicious. Why did we ever stop drinking this? Because everyone else started. Number three, Manhattan. I'll have uh, Manhattan, please. If you have the ingredients to make an old fashioned, you can pretty easily make a Manhattan as well. The only big change is that the addition of red vermouth is key to getting a Manhattan just right. The drink originated in, you guessed it, New York City at a bar called the Manhattan Club. Well, that's one version of its origin story anyway. This cocktail is stirred. Um, you want to stir it until your gut feeling tells you it's cold enough. You can order one pretty much anywhere though, and there are a ton of variations that allow you to make it at home with almost any liquor you've got kicking around. Typically, rye or Canadian whiskey is the base of choice, but others will give you a similar and just as delicious result. Don't forget the maraschino cherry. Cheers. Number two, champagne cocktail. Champagne cocktail, please. Who says champagne's only for special occasions? One of the trends in the mixology world lately is bringing bubbly into the mainstream with the creation of champagne-based cocktails. Now, if you have any snobby or rich friends, you probably know that sparkling wine isn't technically champagne unless it comes from a specific region in France. But champagne cocktails can really be made with Prosecco, Cava, or whatever bubbles you can afford. It'll give a celebratory tone to any evening. So make these when you want to liven up a party a little. I had four champagne cocktails and I don't even feel drunk. Number one, Negroni. That's good. If there's one drink everyone was talking about in 2017, it was the Negroni. And it doesn't look like this cocktail's popularity will be waning anytime soon. The nice thing is, this drink is just as simple as it is trendy. The ingredients you'll need are gin, vermouth rosso, that's red to you, Campari, and some orange peel for garnish. You got your Campari, one third, got your gin, another third, Sweet vermouth, another third. It's typically served on the rocks and makes for a very elegant pre-dinner aperitif. Its origins are also murky, though most assume it was first created in Italy at the beginning of the 20th century. But wherever or whenever it's from, it is always a crowd pleaser. All I've got to do now is have a little sip. Spectacular. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.